Peter Spencer, sports editor of the Manchester Evening News. There's only one story in town. How do you go about covering something like this? Um, well, you basically abandon what you're doing. Um, we started off with a phone call from the editor and various other people about two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, and suddenly, I'm in overdrive and uh, came in here, and the web team were well into it. And um, we've just had saturation coverage. The web figures have gone through the roof. Uh, we've had polls, we've had different people's opinion, we've had my opinion for what it's worth. Um, and then um, we've filled the paper with 13 pages worth of incisive um, knowledge. And basically, you'd expect us to have the most saturation coverage than any, anybody else because we've lived and breathed this for um, a long time. And I've been a little bit surprised at some the way that some of my colleagues in the national media um, have covered Manchester United. They keep giving David Moyes a chance because uh, he's a nice guy, I know that. Um, but the fact is that we followed the fans' views, and it started for me after he uh, made his comments about the um, <coughs> fixture list and then beaten by West Brom at home, which is a game when I was at. And I started thinking, this isn't right, it's, it's just not working out. I mean, the West Brom game, for instance, the fans were booing Rio Ferdinand, and there's the Olympiacos defeat, uh, which was bitterly disappointing. And it's as if the players weren't turning up. Derby defeat, um, defeats, um, Liverpool defeat, um, Everton defeat. You know, it's, it just goes on and on. Um, it's kind of embarrassing for the, the red side of Manchester, and, and the change was inevitable. We were saying Reds in crisis for most of this season. One of the biggest surprises for me is it took so long to make the inevitable decision. But David Moyes' position was untenable this morning. Because people have an expectation of Manchester United, don't they? Fans of the club want to see it do well and they won't tolerate someone who isn't doing that. Well, any Manchester United fan who is um, aged under 40 um, won't have seen a... a team that's failing because they've had Fergie haven't they, all that time so that is a whole new experience for them. The fans of other teams have seen ups and downs in the fortunes of their club um, so you're right that there is this um, massive um, expectation about Manchester but, but kind of why shouldn't there be? <laughs> they get a crowd of certainly a thousand every single week they're, they're raking in millions and millions of pounds they've got some of the best players in the world these players have let Moyes down to an extent. They haven't performed anything like the level that they're capable of. They've got three games now to sort of remedy it. And another thing about these fans, they've paid a fortune for season tickets. They don't want their season ending a month early.